so many of you have DM'd me and reached out and text messaged me and really sent prayers and love and hugs and I just couldn't be more grateful for a community like you. So what I can share is that my oldest son had to go to the ER this week. He's finally getting admitted. Uh, I'm heading up there this morning to sign the paperwork. He's doing better. And I just want to let you all know that. I'm sitting in the Walmart parking lot right now because he needs a few things. So I'm picking them up and taking them to him. But I know that I'm not alone in this. I know that there are so many parents in the world that have kids with life-threatening diseases, epilepsy, disabilities, mental illnesses, things that are gonna make us kind of caregivers for them probably for the rest of their life. I just want you to know that I see you. You're not alone. And although it feels lonely, most of the time we do that to ourselves, right? It's so overwhelming that you just want to cocoon away. Subconsciously, I put this sweater on today and I realized like, I look like a turtle <laughs> and I'm okay with that because I feel like a turtle. Like I want to crawl inside my shell and um, sleep and wake up when it's all over. At the same time, there's also a warrior that lives inside of me. And she put her hair up and wore little earrings because she's ready to fight. She's also vain and why she had to put her makeup on in the Walmart parking lot. But she's complex. <laughs> it was three years ago this week that we found out my son's diagnosis, which I'm not privy to share here. Those of you who came to the Women's Festival know. So I just want to say, like, there's no right or wrong way to handle your pain. Everybody handles it differently. Some people, like certain members of my family, are extremely private and want to be left alone and are very private. I'm not private, <laughs> as you all know. Um... And not only am I not private, I like to share in hopes that it makes someone feel not alone, in hopes that it helps somebody else. It's also therapeutic for me to share and to show the human range of emotions. This is the cycle of life. Up and down and up and down and up and down. And you know that quote that says, the same water that boils and hardens the egg softens the potato. So it doesn't matter what circumstances are happening to you. It matters what you're made of. And if you don't do the work, and if you don't heal yourself, and if you don't give yourself grace and space and whatever it is that you need, you won't be made of the right stuff to get through it. I, you know, I'm always recommending therapy and books and podcasts and great friends and listening to your truth. Um, I'm always recommending those things to help you be made of the right stuff, to help me be made of the right stuff, because I'm on the same journey too. Lord knows. I see all you parents and all you caregivers taking care of the people that you love and you're not alone and although I can't be there to hug you reach out to someone for a hug let somebody know what you need because people do want to help honestly when they help you it makes them feel better so let them have that. You each get something. Win-win, friends. Win-win. May we all find a reason to be grateful and to smile today.